You ever wonder why a fresh install of Windows already runs like it's five years old? That's because it comes preloaded with more junk than your grandma's attic. Today, we're removing all that garbage Microsoft duct tape onto your PC. We're gonna take your computer from a clunky corporate bloatware machine and turn it into a clean gaming masterpiece. So enough talk, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Now I'm gonna leave links to everything we're using in the description. That way, if you guys don't wanna download a file, you don't have to. But if you want everything packaged together neatly, that way you don't gotta go looking for downloads and it's just easier for you to follow. Join my Discord, link will be in the description. I'm gonna have a file with everything we're using here. This one down here at the bottom says keyboard optimization because at the time of recording this video, this was the last video I posted that needed a file. But once this video is posted, there's gonna be a file down here called dbloat windows. So if you are using the file, go ahead and download that. Of course, if you're using the links in the description, nothing wrong with that. But once you're ready, you can close out a Discord. If you are using the file, go ahead and extract it and put it on your desktop, then go ahead and open it up. Everything we're using in here is completely open source. The first thing we're gonna do is go into one, privacy settings. This app is called O&O Shut Up, and it's just gonna configure some privacy settings. We obviously don't want Windows spying on us. So this is a fantastic anti-spy tool. Once you open it up, just click run. It'll pop up like this. Their pre-configured profile is gonna be good for most people. So just click actions and then apply only recommended settings right there. It'll ask if you wanna create a restore point. I personally would recommend you guys create a restore point in case it's somehow disabling something you do need. Then you can always go back with no issues. But personally, I know I don't need a restore point. So I'm just gonna click no. It'll say 83 settings have been set. And then you can see what all it's applying here. I would kind of read through these settings slowly, make sure it's not disabling anything you want or need. These settings, 99% of the time, these settings aren't gonna break any functionality to apps, but rather might disable like a preference that you like. For example, disabling suggestions in the start. The most common thing this app can break depending on what setting you applied is disabling app access to camera you can see the recommended profile we set does not disable this but if you do go in here and just start checking every single box then obviously you're going to hit this one too so just kind of read make sure you're not disabling anything you need i'd recommend just doing the recommended settings and then closing out of that it will say you need to restart your computer but we're just going to do this at the very end so just click close on this and go back one go to deep Blood windows there's a powershell script in here so again if you guys aren't using the file i'm going to have it ordered in the description too so find the link in the description that says two and it'll have the link to the github where this PowerShell script is from. But once you have it, right click it and click run with PowerShell, open it up. You may get a security warning like this. That's completely okay. Just type R to run once and then press enter. It's gonna run the debug script here, pop up a new PowerShell installed. That's completely okay. Just click any key on the keyboard to continue. And then you're gonna be met with a screen like this. So if you guys just wanted to quickly apply the recommended changes that the developer has, then just type one, it'll take care of everything for you guys. However, I like to customize the things I use. So I'm gonna click two and this is gonna be custom mode. So you have some options here, which is don't remove any apps. I, of course, would not want to do that. And they have three other options here. Remove the default selection of Bloatware apps from appplus.txt. You can find that on their GitHub. And then two other options there as well. I'm going to select option number one because the appplus.txt on their GitHub is basically just removing all the Bloatware apps. It's not removing the Microsoft Store or anything important like that. Just literally the Bloat apps that nobody uses anyway. It's going to remove things like Candy Crush and other apps that nobody uses. So I'm going to type one because I'm down for that. Press enter. It'll ask you if you want to disable telemetry. Of course, I want that as well. So type yes. Do I want to disable tips and tricks? Yes. Type Y and press enter. Same thing. Remove Bing, web search, Bing AI. I don't want all that on my system. So type yes. Obviously, if you guys have a different preference and you do want Bing web search for some reason, just type in for no and it'll keep that stuff on there for you. So on this next screen, you have more options, basically asking if you want to disable all the AI stuff. Of course, for me, I don't want any of that crap on my system. So I'm just going to type two to remove it all. Press enter. Disable Windows Spotlight background on desktop. Yes. Enable dark mode. Yes. Disable transparency, animations, and visuals. Yes. This one here is asking if you want to restore the old Windows 10 style context menu. So this is when you right click. You can see it looks like Windows 10. I'm already doing this. And I don't want it to overwrite what I'm using. So I'm going to type no. However, if you guys do want it to look like this, then type yes. Press enter. This one's asking if you want to turn off mouse acceleration. Obviously, I would type yes on this one. Disable fast startup. I would highly recommend you guys type yes on this one as well. Disable network connectivity during modern standby. This applies to all users. This one's completely preference on you guys. I'm just going to type no on this one. This one says, do you want to make any changes to the start menu? Of course, this one is preference. It's not actually going to uninstall any apps. Just making some visual changes to it. I'm good with my start menu so i'm gonna type no it says do you want to make any changes to the taskbar and related services again i'm good on that so i'm gonna type no any changes to file explorer no and then it says press enter to confirm your choices and execute the script so just press enter it is going to attempt to create a restore point if it errors out that's fine it's going to apply everything we just did at the very bottom it'll say script completed please check for any errors if you do get some errors like that it says it's unable to remove some apps that's completely fine it's most likely because those apps are already removed if you're getting a lot of errors in this section with the disabled services it could be that you have user access control on so what you need 
need to do is come down here and type in UAC. It'll say change user account control and settings. Click on this and then move this one to the very bottom that says never notify and then click OK on this. Then just go ahead and rerun the script and it should work as intended. If it's still not working, you guys may need to temporarily disable Defender. But anyways, once you're done with the script, just press any key on the keyboard. It'll exit out of this. Go ahead and open the file that we're using backup. And then this one says disable useless services. So this is actually my script that I made. So I'm going to right click and click edit it. That way for you guys who don't want to download a file, you can see everything it's doing here and you can run the scripts individually if you'd like. But it's completely open source. This is everything it's doing. Basically, we're using the registry to disable useless services. The script has been used on hundreds of computers with no issues at all. This is an extremely safe script. It's not disabling anything that you guys may use. These are all completely useless services that you don't need running on your computer in the background. How the script works is it's calling on the path of the service and registry and then setting the value to four, which is disabled. If you guys, for whatever reason, do need a service in here, then the enabled value is one. If you set it to one, that's going to make the server start up automatically. So just set whichever one you need to one and then run the script again. But like I said, though, you aren't going to need any of these services. So you're good to go ahead and run the script. So once you're ready, just right click it, run it as administrator. It'll run. If you get any accesses denied permission errors, that's fine. Just click any T to continue and that'll run the script and close it. Then go back one, go to disable startup apps and features, go to task manager, then go to startup apps. Just disable anything in here you guys don't want starting up with your computer. Obviously, if you have something in here you need to run for an optimization like timer resolution or disable driver power saving, keep that on. But I'd highly recommend any apps in here you have that start up when your computer starts up, like the Riot client or Epic Games client or Blizzard or anything like that. Just go ahead and disable it. Obviously, you don't want 100 things starting up when your computer starts up. But once you're done with that, go ahead and go back. Then open up Auto Runs here. Auto Runs is basically an in-depth look of that task manager screen we were just on, where we can see everything that's starting up when our computer starts up. So don't go crazy in here and just start unchecking things and stopping them from starting up when your computer starts up because you could definitely break something. If something's highlighted yellow in here, then Windows is still calling on it to start up, but the file doesn't exist anymore. So to save Windows a little bit of time, anything that's yellow, we can just uncheck because it doesn't even exist anymore, so we're good. But things like the Riot Client and Riot Vanguard are checked in here, even if you disable them in Task Manager, because these services need to start up in order for it to work with Vanguard, so I would leave these on. Things like Chrome and Edge installers, you can uncheck. These are usually related to the update services for those, so scroll down. Again, anything that's yellow, I'm just going to uncheck. All these Google Update Task Scheduler ones, you can uncheck all these. I'd honestly uncheck check anything that's updating for any app like Gaiazo or Microsoft Edge. Scrolling down to services, same thing. You can uncheck any update apps if you don't want them to do that. Again, here you have a lot more Google Chrome ones. At the top bar here, if you go to schedule tasks, you'll see all your scheduled tasks in here. You guys probably have a whole lot of things in here that are running in the background. Anything that says like telemetry or data collection, you can uncheck that safely. However, you can see on mine, I basically have nothing in here. And this is thanks to the custom OS I'm on, Signs OS. It's a fully de-bloated, optimized OS. And the ISO is only 1.8 gigabytes big as well. And you guys know a standard Windows ISO is like seven to eight gigabytes. So if you guys want to get on my custom OS, fully de-bloated, fully optimized, and I'll take care of everything for you, book an optimization on my website, signs.net. Now we have full peace of mind that your computer is running at its maximum potential. I take care of BIOS, Windows, optimized and de-bloated drivers, optimizing your mouse and keyboard, controller overclocks, everything head to toe. But other than that though, guys, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you guys do like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I have tons of other optimization videos on my channel already, so be sure to check those out. But other than that though, guys, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.